Hi everyone, Marianne Markowitz. Today's video, we will talk about the five tips as an aspiring manager or as a current manager and how to boost morale in your department. Number one, you want to develop a positive attitude in the department. Sounds trite, but just notice our, our we tending to look at everything that's going wrong. Trust me, that's the easiest path to go on. Practice how you are looking at focusing on things. And if you haven't taken any of these development courses, number one, Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People, principle number one is do not criticize, condemn, or complain. What you might find is you may not have anything to say for three days, maybe a week. If you say nothing to criticize, condemn, or complain, either what's going on in your office or in your personal life, again, it gives you that stop. What am I getting ready to say? If you don't have the fortitude to go sign up for a Dell Carnegie course, I highly recommend it. If you don't, then pick up the book Emmett Fox, The Seven Day Mental Diet. This is something that accidentally ended on my Kindle when we first started full timing. And I remember reading it because I was keeping a journal at the time and making notes of things I wanted to remember. And here's what I remember from that book. Have a seven day mental diet. Number one, don't complain. That's all. And if you find yourself complaining, then you have to start over. I believe it's for seven days, just like Del Carnegie. You cannot complain. So if you have a day of just sitting back and observing instead of saying the weather stinks, the, you know, this Excel spreadsheet's not working, you know what you complain about. That will help interrupt that pattern. And it's an easy read. It's very well worth your time. And the funny thing is, after I read it years later, it popped up in some of the Tony Robbins training I have uh, completed. It's Wayne Dyer refers to it. it and that's a, another story altogether. But pick that up. It's an inexpensive book, again, either on Kindle or have it delivered and read it. You'll become a better leader. You'll become a better person. And number two, you want to encourage open communication. And as trite as this one sounds, this can be the one that's going to be the most challenging for you because you may say to an employee, you know, this is not working out. We need to have a talk about this. And they may immediately go into this contraction defensive mode. And this is your cue. Do you need to step back and evaluate, am I a good communicator? And you may be a very good communicator. And younger people, as a generalization, are very thin-skinned. I have the book on my Kindle. I'm going to read about that and how we got there. But it, again, this is about you becoming a better leader. So what are your communication styles? And do you, let's say you have five people and four are, there. they respond to you. And you have that one person who's always like this. This is your learning point. How do you become that communicator with that person? Do you have to take a moment to say, hey, Marianne, we need to have a talk, and this is what we're going to talk about, and kind of, you know, lay the groundwork and then take a, a break and then come back to it. There, there are many, many things you can do. I would recommend asking your HR department to bring in a strong business coach who's very well versed in either DISC or Strength Finders, two of my favorites. And I will tell you from personal experience as an executive recruiter, my clients who use any type of assessment for hiring and, and working with their employees have very little turnover. 
versus other clients who said, oh, we don't have the money for that. Well, guess what? They're the ones who have constant turnover and then end up not being clients down the road. Not, not part of what I like to be a part of. And then number three is, do you provide opportunities for your employees for de development and learning? Again, this is something that, that people eat up. They love learning. They want to develop. And again, I can think of several clients off the top of my head who offer training and develop continually, and people are still there. I have one company who offered basic English writing skills for their accounting department. So you will be surprised at what you can offer. And honestly, with what's available on the internet, you have no excuse for not investing in your employees. Yeah, you know, they should want to invest in themselves too. But sometimes employees are sitting around saying, well, you know, it doesn't matter if I do or not. So if you kind of meet them halfway and say, hey, I want you to um, take this um, Excel course, learn a little bit more about macros so we can do whatever. Think about that and celebrate your wins, both as a team and then the individuals within the team. This, this weekend, we had um, an opportunity to watch the live golf tournament from um, Tucson because we're there and frankly I had not been exposed to this this new golf league and it is actually very cool because they have reinvented golf you have a team and it was so interesting one young man had not won a golf tournament since 2015 and then he joined this organization part of a team and he said it made all the difference in the world because his teammates were encouraging him. So can you can, can you foster that as a team, but we're still going to show appreciation and, and wins for you individually. Just think about that and tune in. They're going to be in Orlando this next week and it, it could be a learning experience for you to see golf reimagined. How can you reimagine your, your department? and show appreciation for your employees' efforts. I always love to incorporate Friday wins with my, um, when I did my group coaching, with that was something big for us before our meditation. And I still get emails from people, hey, here's Friday, this is what I accomplished. So start looking at how can you celebrate little wins. Maybe have a, a Friday morning coffee, and it doesn't have to be long. You know, give it 15 minutes and say, hey, um, what did we accomplish this week as a team? And then give some, some accolades, but, but let the team members individually talk about what they feel like they accomplished, and you will be surprised. All right, great to see you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share with others.